improvement for all of the aggressive comments that he's been making. The agenda setting theory is the idea that media don't necessarily tell people what to think, rather what to think about. This theory is good at explaining that people with similar media exposure place importance on the same issues. Although different people feel differently about a story or stories than others, most feel as though the same issues are important. According to Chaffeenberger's 1997 criteria for scientific theories, the agenda setting theory is good because it has explanatory power. It explains why most people prioritize the same issues. It has predictive power. It predicts that if people are exposed to the same media, then they will regard the same issues as important. It is parsimonious in that it isn't complex and is subsequently easy to understand. It can be proven false. If people aren't exposed to the same media, then they won't feel that the same issues are important. It is meta-theoretical. Its assumptions are scientific in nature. It is a springboard for further research. It has organizing power. It helps organize existing knowledge of media effects. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Two high-profile and highly controversial events of the 1990s are perfect examples of the agenda-setting theory. The 1994 trial of O.J. Simpson had a heavy media presence and an inundation of information through various media outlets. The public were divided in their opinion regarding Simpson's involvement in subsequent innocence or guilt. The media didn't tell the public what to think, but because of the accounts of the trial and other background information, different people formed different opinions. The 1999 impeachment trial of now former President Bill Clinton had similar media exposure to the Simpson trial. Because of the amount of information that surfaced, people were able to form their own opinion as to whether or not President Clinton should be impeached.